Welcome to another dialogue with your congressman. I'm Jim Guy Tucker, and I'm very pleased that our Secretary of State, Cyrus Vance, can be with us for this discussion. Uh, Mr. Secretary, welcome to Dialogue, and thank you for joining us. Jim Guy, thanks very much. I'm delighted to be here with you. Mr. Secretary, uh, you've just returned recently from a trip to the Soviet Union to uh, begin further discussions on the strategic arm limitations talks. Uh, although obviously everyone in the country is concerned with, it, uh, with this topic, uh, in the second district of Arkansas, we have 18 of our nation's 54 Titan II missiles located. Thus, mm -hmm. uh, the second district is probably a priority target uh, for the Soviet Union or any other uh, enemy of the United States. And we have a particular interest in uh, the progress of SALT talks or the lack of progress. Uh, Exactly uh, what is our situation with regard to strategic arms? Uh, are the Russians ahead of us? In my judgment, there's a rough parity between the Soviet Union and ourselves at this time. And our objective is to maintain that rough parity while at the same time beginning the process of reducing and substantially reducing the number of nuclear weapons, thus lessening the threat uh, of a nuclear confrontation. Okay, now on, on October the 1st of this year, uh, one portion of the SALT-1 agreements, as we can refer to them, will expire. And yeah. that's the portion that limits uh, the expansion of offensive weapons. Uh, what will happen? What are our options if we reach uh, October 1 and we don't have a further agreement on offensive weapons? We have basically two options. One option is to extend uh, the interim agreement, which expires on that date, and the other is to proceed uh, uh, without any agreement, at the same time continuing our discussions with the uh, Soviets seeking to reach agreement uh, on a SALT II agreement. Do you think that, the, uh, that there is a prospect of a summit conference between uh, uh, Mr. Brezhnev and uh, President Carter sometime within the next few months, or at least between now and October the 1st? Well, the President has said he uh, believes it would be uh, a good idea to have regular meetings between the two heads of state whenever it would appear useful to do this. We put before them a comprehensive package which really uh, broke new ground in terms of arms control, which sought deep cuts, which sought a freeze on the development and testing and deployment of new missiles, and which resolved the outstanding, would have resolved if accepted, the outstanding differences which we had on what are called cruise missiles and on a particular form of bomber called the backfire, which uh, the Soviets have. Uh, alternatively, we suggested that if they did not want at this point to deal with this uh, package, which is our preferred package, that we were prepared to go forward, uh, ratify the agreed uh, uh, aggregate numbers which were agreed to at Vladivostok, and set aside the two controversial issues, namely the cruise missile and uh, the backfire bomber. So that uh, we said, here are two proposals. Uh, either one of them is satisfactory to us. Uh, which one uh, uh, do you want to talk about? Uh, at that Moscow meeting, they said uh, neither did they consider satisfactory at that point. But since that time, discussions have resumed, and uh, we're continuing to talk. 